it's about ironing, shopping, ironing from Proverbs 27, 17. But when it talks about iron, sharpen, iron, that means that you guys are both on the same path to make your lives better and tougher and stronger. Because absolutely, the world is out to pull you apart. That's what they do. If you notice, it's always easy to do the wrong thing, but it's never easy to do the right thing. So there's something to that. There's something spiritually for you that matters about doing the right thing or working toward the right thing. So when Proverbs 27, 17 says, iron sharpens iron. I say to you guys, may both of you be blades of steel and may God bless you. And I love you, my son, Eddie, and I love you, my daughter, Britt. Today, Eddie and Brittany have woven together by God as one in marriage. One man, one woman, one God. If God has taught us how to love by staying connected and committed to Christ, he will stay connected and committed to your marriage. Brittany was in love with Eddie for years. I remember those phone conversations. They went on and on about Eddie. But sometimes I've learned in life that things don't always happen when you think they're supposed to, but that doesn't mean that they won't. Even when Brittany moved across the country, she still couldn't let Eddie go. And I remember telling her, I know this is hard right now, but just imagine you two could still end up together and imagine what a great story that's gonna be to tell at your wedding. And today is a testament to the fact that they were indeed meant to be together. Brittany, Eddie, your relationship is an example of what it means when you listen to your heart and do whatever it takes to be with the person you love. Eddie, thank you for loving her and being the man that she needs. There's no one else I could imagine her ending up with. I couldn't be happier for the two of you. I feel lucky that I've been able to watch your relationship evolve from the very beginning to now. I hope that you continue to always remember why you chose each other as life partners. I hope you continue to share amazing experiences with each other. And I can't wait to watch your love grow even more over the years. Let's raise our glasses to the newlyweds. Brittany, you are now finally Mrs. Brittany Blair. I love you. Looking at you now, as we all have been brought to your special day, I see a perfect creation of the brown baby that was made. And with all my travel and being away, on, while you were growing up, I feel compelled to say, 
Look at you. You made it. And all that you are has already been engraved on your shining star. It's easy to see that when I wasn't able to carry you, the Lord carried you for me. like sacrifice, humility, compromise, and selflessness. True love teaches you patience. True love will challenge you. True love will bring out the best in you. To be honest, I wanted to marry you for so long. We both have grown so much since our younger years, and I look forward to marrying you. We grew up together, and our friendship blossomed into a deep love and fate. Thank you so much for choosing me as your life partner. There is no higher honor in this life. I love you. Barefoot on the cross Listening to our favorite song When you said you looked a mess I whispered underneath my breath But you heard it, darling, you I'm going to get short and sweet. When the Lord brought you into my life, I couldn't be more blessed. You went through a lot of rough times with me as a mother. And I want both of you to learn. Don't follow in your parents' footsteps. Learn from them. We love you guys. We just want you to know that you always, you put him first. Everything follows. I love you. daughter. Seeing you today so beautiful, so much in love, brings such warm thoughts of the little girl you were and of the wonderful woman you've grown to be. It's so good to know that you found the one you want to share your life with, a friend, a partner, a true love. May today be just the beginning of a beautiful life together. To my daughter Brittany, my gift from God, I love you so very much and so very proud of you. May God bless always, Dad. Now that you both have shared your vows and you exchanged your rings, now you can give her the best kiss, the best public kiss that you've ever given her. You may kiss your bride.